Hello. Okay, so this is a short tutorial on how to use this wall to create holes in your building or anything that you're doing in SketchUp. Okay, I used it in my first video, but well, I didn't talk in that video though. So um someone asked if I can do that. Okay, so this wall is an extension for SketchUp. You can get it at uh, Sketch Education. So the website the link will be in the description so just click on it to take you here it's by fellow six okay so uh, you can donate to support the web as well okay so when you or you install it you download it you download it first you come to extensions manager here come to extensions manager then go to install extension okay then you get to choose it and install it after that okay so this is how it works okay anytime you want to create a hole in your project or anything you're working on let's say i want to create a hole in this i just click on fed so it's, it's at the top here you click on it you come to your surface that you want to make the hole in. you click on it so let's say i want to make a hole here you can see okay that's created a hole from the back from the front to the the back okay so that is how it works now you can also limit that to the front only now as that this is not the kind of hole i want to create so one thing you can also do is that you can get to choose the kind of hole you want to create like the shape or anything so first let's say i want to create uh let's say a door here then uh, i have my my measurements here let's say i want my door to be here let's take it back a little bit okay i, have my, I want my door to be here okay so now i can click on visual hall now if you click on it, it comes with a shape as you can see but i want to choose a shape for my model so what i'll do is i'll click on this arrow here it says pick a stencil shape in the model okay so you click on it then you click on the shape that you want to pick so i'm going to pick it from the corner here and see it has picked it you can use it on any surface you want to use it on so now i've picked it so all i have to do is what put it on my my surface and I'll create my hole. Now you can see that it has created a hole throughout the dam. So my door is not supposed to get to this line though. But this is just an example. You can see that it has created a hole from front to back. Okay. Now if you are creating a door, we don't create from the front to back. So we want to limit it to only the front. If you want to do that, you click on visual hole. Click on visual hole. Then we have options here where there's drill through okay so we have drill limited to first tube only we have do not create the two just create intersections then we have create the hole with guidelines instead of edges so i'll click on this drill limited to the first tube only so that it will limit the hole to only this first one now if you do that it doesn't normally work the reason why it's not working is because I've drawn my door on the down here. Okay, the down here. So if I take it up a little bit, take it up a little bit, it's going to work. Okay, so you can see that's created the hole. Okay, easily. You can do that on any shape. So uh, let's come to this to create the hole out to the back. Okay. So that's how it works easily so you can use it in your buildings anything you want to create so let's say i want a, let's say a circular shape i'll just draw it on top of my model i'll click on this or then i'll click on the arrow to pick the shape from my model okay then you yeah, speak it you can see so i want it to be here so i'll just click on it twice okay then 
my hole will be created now that is why it's not creating the hole is because i've created a hole inside here already that is why that one is not coming but then you can use it to create a hole on this one and to work perfectly well okay so that's how you sew hole works you can use it for basically anything anything so i've just created a hole from the top to the down Okay. Any shape it works for any shape, any shape, any shape. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Okay, so please kindly subscribe. Okay, so that's Visu Hole. Okay, Visu Hole actually relies on another extension. So uh, let's look at the extension manager. I've installed it, so I have um, you can see Fredo 6 Visu Hole here. And I have Fredo 6, leave Fredo 6. So it relies on this extension. Okay, so you have to download the two and install them. Please, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.